I was surprised. I mean, this is a guy that has spent his entire sort of later section of his career talking about the love of life and the, you know, search for different types of cultures around the world and different foods and meeting with people, and that's what this show's all about. So it was shocking that this guy would want to do that. Well, I think that celebrities like that really kind of underscore what's a really obviously prevalent problem, and I think the main takeaway is that, uh, you know, celebrities have the same problems as everybody else, regardless of how much wealth or fame they have, and that you never really know what's going on in somebody else's head, what they're carrying around with them every day. I saw that he passed away, and I just loved his show, and I would see him here um, when I dropped my son off at school, and I said hi, he was always pleasant, but I loved his show, and I thought he was such an interesting person, and where he visited was so dynamic, and places that I've visited. So I was just really sad, and it's just been sad all day, and the whole mental health issue is a really big problem. I don't know if that was what was happening with him, but I know it's something that, you know, we have to deal with nowadays, from no matter how rich you are or how poor you are. I hate these people who say everybody who tries suicide is nuts. You don't know what's going on into their lives to make them lose hope. And when you lose hope, there's no point in going on, you know, so I think that's usually why people try suicide. They don't see a way out. That's why you have to, oh, I'm sorry, encourage them. You have to encourage them. You have to talk to them. And even though they don't see a way out, explain to them with help there's a way out. It's not a way out by yourself.